I'm proud to introduce him to you tonight as a friend, as a, a noble gentleman, and an important voice in the state senate. Would you welcome my friend, State Senator Sam Caligiuri? Thank you, Ed, and good evening, everyone. I, uh, I want to applaud the Speaker of the House and the leadership for uh, directing the uh, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee to hold the hearings that you just heard about. And I think, as all of you know, there is a lot that we need to do to fix some very serious problems in our system. But if we do nothing else, I'm here to say we need to pass a real three strikes and you're out law, and we need to do it now. Before I go any further, I want to thank Joe and Marilyn Bartoli for everything they did to organize this event, and I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. You know that you're part of a very special movement when people like Joe and Marilyn take it upon themselves with no experience in this area to organize this kind of an event, and when all of you to this number take time out of your very busy schedules to come here to support this cause. We're seeing a strong grassroots movement emerge on this issue because people understand that it is fundamentally about public safety and it is public safety for all of us and our families that is at stake. And if government does nothing else, it must at a minimum protect the public safety. And that's why we need to make the changes that we're here to support tonight. The fact is that our laws must be strengthened when it comes to letting repeat criminals back out on our streets, and we need to do it by passing a true three strikes law. We need a law that forces the most serious repeat offenders to stay in jail, period. No questions asked. That's the kind of law we need in Connecticut. And I'll tell you this, no matter what our opponents say, and rest assured there are people who do not want this change to be made. Connecticut does not have a true three strikes law. Existing law gives judges and prosecutors, a small group of people, the discretion to decide whether to afford persistent offender treatment to certain repeat offenders. But that isn't tough enough because we shouldn't be leaving it up to a small group of individuals to exercise discretion whether to treat someone like a true danger to society when it comes to the most serious repeat offenders. For the most serious repeat criminals, that treatment should be mandatory, not optional. And that's the purpose of a true three strikes law. I will also say that we need to make this change now, not a year from now, and we need to do it in special session because public safety requires it and because we already have the information we need to do it right and to do it carefully. There are 15 other states in this country that have laws comparable to what we're pushing for. There is no reason why we can't look to those models, those laws as a model, take the best from those, and pass a law that makes sense for Connecticut and do it now, not later. The experts should have their say. We need to hear from the experts as to what makes for sound policy. But our government doesn't belong to a small handful of experts. It belongs to you, and it belongs to us. And you have every right to insist that your legislators pass this law. And don't forget that. It is absolutely right. And I stand with you tonight to pledge that I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But I can't do it alone. I need the other people who are here tonight behind me and who you're going to hear from. And we need you. Together, we need you. So what can you do? You took an important first step by being here tonight, and I thank you again for that. But there's more that you can do. If you haven't done so already, please sign the online petition supporting this law change that you've probably heard about, but if you haven't heard about it, you're going to hear more about it tonight. Then, contact the speaker, contact the president of the Senate, and urge them to call a special session for this purpose. The truth is that these individuals are the persons who will decide when we take up this action, whether we take it up in a special session or whether we take it up later next year. And they need to hear from you on this because I'm confident that they want to do the right thing. But what they decide the right thing to be will depend in part on the kind of feedback they get from the people about how strongly you want to see this change made and when you want to see it made. And then, 
you should talk to your state legislators, your state senators and your state representatives and urge them to support a three strikes law. To make this easier for you, I've included some information on my website. If you go to www.senaterepublicans.ct.gov and then go on to my webpage under senators, you'll see phone numbers and email links for the governor, the speaker, and the Senate president. You'll also see a sample letter that you can download and use to send them and your legislators a letter yourself. I hope that by doing this, it'll be a little easier for you to keep up the pressure and communicate with these people. Finally, and you've heard it before, please persist in your support for this effort. The folks who don't want to see a true three strikes law enacted are counting on the fact that over time you'll lose focus and move on to other things. When that happens, the urgency to change this law will pass and I believe they hope they'll be able to move on to other subjects. It's up to you to decide whether that happens or not. And your persistent support for this law will make a difference in preventing that from happening. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for support. And may God bless our nation, our state, and this effort. Thank you very much.